Okay, welcome. So this is another tutorial on how to use the parallel capacities in Dy of Dynair in Linux. And I will open up first Modlab. It's very easy to set up. This is a fresh install of Ubuntu 24, the beta version. Um, and we will go ahead and use the parallel um, for estimating a simple DSG model. Okay, so let me go ahead and go into the folder of the example model. This is a virtual machine. Um, I have dedicated four cores to this machine, so when I want to run four chains each on each core. Okay, this is a very simple model. Um, and you can engine this G model. What I want to do is I want to simulate data and I want to estimate using 100 observation um, the parameters. First, I'm going to compute the mode. Um, I'm going to initialize the MCMC with the negative inverse Hessian. I'm going to do four chains with each at 2001 draws. Um, I'm going to do random walk Metropolis Hastings, but I'm going to change the proposal distribution to the multivariate student distribution. And I want to use um, the parallel capacities. To this end, I need to write a configuration file. Well, you can call it whatever you want, my conf, whatever. And I'm only having one machine here, so um, I'm just going to call this cluster local. And there's only one machine. So this is the basic setup for, say, a laptop, a desktop computer, or a server you have access to. And very importantly, for each member, you have to define some options under Node. Um, as I'm doing everything locally, this is very important to put in local host in here. I have four cores, so I'm going to put a four in here. And I have, I want to do number of threads per job one. Um, OK. So um, there are many, many more options. Uh, if you go to the manual, uh, chapter four, there are much more options and you can, you can actually choose or set depending on your use case. Okay, let's see how this works. Um, I have to first add the path to Dynair 4.61 um, and um, Gonna put the example, Dynair parallel example. This is my the name of my mode file. I have to tell Dynair which configuration file to use. And then first, it's always important to run parallel test whether or not I set up everything correctly. And you should get a passed here or some error message. Maybe you put in too many cores or something like that. If that passes, just go ahead and run my con. Uh, conf file, my conf equal, and then parallel. So what the Dynair does is usually everything is one in one thread on one core. But if I put in uh, the parallel option, some things are, can be actually run in parallel. Uh, what, how Dynair does this is uh, we open up several MATLAB or Octave processes in the background using SSH. Okay, and this, there, there's some overhead um, for the communication to initialize everything and uh, uh, to finalize everything. So like the initialization step and finalization step takes a couple of seconds. Um, but as you can see, everything is run nicely in parallel. So what we currently have um, is that the posterior sampling algorithm for multiple chains is paralyzed, the Metropolis Hastings diagnostics, the posterior impulse response functions, the prior and posterior statistics, and also some plotting routines. And we're almost finished. Okay, cool. Now, if you're happy with your configuration file, you can actually also set a default configuration file, but you have to put this in a certain folder. Um, so let me copy this file, copy, oh. yes, let me copy this 
and here paste and we have to call this dot dynair so this is going to be a hidden file why can't i do this okay let's call this dynair and let's just rename it using okay all right and now i can simply go into the folder and i don't have to everything pass so it found the new configuration file dot dynamic so i hope this was useful and helpful um, and have a good day <laughs>